friends! You can see the reviews of these two devices on my channel, but I decided to compare these two giants of Chinese world of portable oscilloscopes. Let's first say something about the difference between these two devices, and then we will turn them on and check how they work. Now, this device, All Sun EM115A, is the oscilloscope, signal generator, and multimeter at the same time. The Jinhan JH-JDS2023 is two-channel oscilloscope with a signal generator. But first channel is analog and the second channel is digital. The maximum frequency according to the manual is 50 MHz and for this device is 20 MHz. This device operates on its own battery with a capacity of 4 amp hours. And for this device you can use any 18650 battery. This device has its own charger and this device can be charged via USB cable. As to the shape, it's almost the same. Also you can remove this rubber protection case if you want. 726 grams, 371. Let's turn them on. So the time is almost the same. Now let's compare these two devices with the help of the first signal generator and after that we will use the signal generator of Jinhan oscilloscope. Everything is connected. Let's go to the signal generator. Frequency. Let it be 15 kilohertz. This is waveform. Let it be sinusoidal. And amplitude. Let it be 1 volt. Now we go to the oscilloscope, auto. So this device is faster. Here we have 1 volt. Voltage peak to peak measured is 936 millivolts. 936-944 millivolts. Here voltage peak to peak is 1 volt. So this device is more precise. As to the frequency, here we have frequency 14.88 which is lower than 15 kilohertz generated by the same device. Here the frequency is 14.88 so the measurement here and here is the same. Let's increase the frequency. 20 kHz. 1984. 1984. So the indications are the same. As to the voltage, here we have 936. Here we have 100. But anyway, this one is more precise. Let's increase the frequency. 30 kHz. Here we have 2976. 2976. Voltage is 920, 928, 936 even. Here voltage is 981 volt. Let's check these two devices with the maximum frequency of this signal generator can provide. 50 kHz. Here we have 4902. Here we have 4901. Maybe the measurement is okay, but there is the problem with the signal generator, which does not generate the signal precisely. Voltage is 920, 960, 940. So this one is more precise. Now let's switch this cable to this signal generator. So the signal is sinusoidal, but let's check the signal generator. SG. Here we have 5 megahertz. The amplitude is 3 volts. But first of all, let's check the frequency of 1 kilohertz. 1 kilohertz, 1 kilohertz, 
voltage peak to peak 3 volts to 96 3 volts here we have 292 294 let's increase the frequency 292 3.1230438 frequency 10 kilohertz 9999 10 kHz. Let's increase the frequency. 292 292 frequency is 99.99 here we have the exact frequency signal generator five hundred thousand Hertz oscilloscope voltage is 288 292 289 298 even frequency is 499.9 .9. here the frequency is 500,000 Hertz oscilloscope auto this device is really slower but at the same time it contains voltmeter, ohmmeter, frequency meter and some other functions the signal is 286, 284, 286 here voltage is 2 point ninety two two point eighty eight frequency is one megahertz here we have the frequency of nine 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 point nine kilohertz so the accuracy is okay signal generator and let's check the maximum for this device so in case you choose even 9 megahertz and press OK it's 5 because it's the maximum for this device OK oscilloscope so now the frequency is 5 megahertz here we have the frequency of 4.999 megahertz the voltage is 2.48 and here the voltage is 1.44 so this device recognizes the signal as approximately twice lower signal. Now let's check other waveforms. Signal generator. Let's choose 1 megahertz. Waveform. Okay, let it be. It's okay. In this case, uh, the voltage is 276. Here we have 2. 56 frequency is 999 here we have 1 megahertz signal generator waveform hope it will be the same so the waveform is not so ugly for such frequency uh, voltage is 236 here we have 264 now the frequency is 1 MHz, sometimes 996, sometimes 1.002, here we have 999, which is OK. Signal generator, waveform, OK, let's check this one. I must say both signals are OK. So in this situation either the signal generator does not generate very precise signal or these two devices are more or less okay. Anyway, I'm satisfied with these two devices in case of 1 MHz signal. 
of the sinusoidal signal at this frequency will be OK. As to the conclusion of all the above mentioned, well, these two devices are really good ones, not to mention that they are portable. And their portability is their advantage not only in view of their weight, but also in view of the fact that they are free of the mains voltage. As to the comparison of their functions, Jinhan has also the signal generator, but besides it, Olsan has also another measurement device inside. Voltmeter, ohmmeter, capacitance meter, continuity and diode. For the detailed explanation of all these functions, please see the review of this device on my channel. As to the advantages of this Jinhan device, its oscilloscope is faster than the Olsan one and also its maximum frequency for the sinusoidal signal is 5 MHz and the maximum frequency of the rest waveforms amounts to 1 MHz. But in case you don't use the voltmeter, ohmmeter and capacitance meter, you should answer the question. What do you prefer? Fast oscilloscope with the 20 MHz maximum frequency or 50 MHz oscilloscope? I am also interested in your opinion. Please write it in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Wish you good luck.